Hello, how are you today? Hello. How are you? Fine, fine. Excellent. Hi, teacher. Hi. Hi, hi. How are you? Fine. Thank you. Thank you. Fine, fine, too. Ready, ready for a new day? Yes. Excellent. I'm so there. Let's see how many. Ya vieron que Suma ha cambiado su carita de inicio, ¿verdad? En vez de ser la camarita que tenía antes, soy a un circulito que dice Suma. En medio. Vamos a ver. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Adriana María. Adriana María. Okay. Adriana Sofía. Ana Alicia. Cruz Antonio. Presente. David Alexander. Present teacher. Eddie. Elmer Fabricio. Elsa Cristina. Félix Enrique. Present teacher. Grace Michelle. Grace Grace. Ivo Marcela, Jennifer Elizabeth, Jennifer, José Alberto, José Alfredo, Carla Lorena, presente, Mario Ernesto. Nubia Zulema. Rebeca Marcela. Rosa Hilda. Present teacher. Victor. Claudia Guadalupe. Mauricio Emilio. Good evening, present. Mauricio. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Anybody came before, uh, after I called you? No. Just ninety, sure. Yeah, only ninety. Oh. The others. It's because it's Monday. Uh huh. But that Monday, the one I said, yeah, because it's Friday. <laughs> Right, because Friday people are tired, the traffic gets crazy, everything gets crazy on Friday, especially last Friday that it was payday, and it was terrible. It got, got really, really terrible. You, you say the traffic. Hmm? The traffic was 
difficult last writing. And the supermarket too. Oh yeah. Really crowded, right? Even Saturday supermarkets were crowded, very crowded. Imagine. Well, today we are going to be talking about pricing. Buenas noches, teacher. Yo me incorporé tarde. Okay. Okay. Adriana Sofía. Good night, teacher. Me too. Who are you? Rebeca Mendoza. Oh, Rebeca. <laughs> I'm here, Cristina. Esta Cristina. Ok, Adriana. Vamos a ver. Adriana María, no, ¿verdad? Adriana Sofía. Ana. Adriana Sofía, present. Adriana Sofía, sí. Elmer, no, here. Elsa Cristina. Yes. Teacher, I'm here. Who? Elmer. Ah, ok. Elmer. Some time. Grace Michelle. Ivonne. Jennifer, José Alberto, José Alfredo, voy corriendo. Mario, Nubia. Present teacher. Present teacher. <ríe> ¿Quién me dio present? Nubia. Ok, Nubia. En, no, en Rebeca, right? Yes, teacher, Rebeca. Okay, Rebeca, very good. Eh, Rosailda, yes. Victor. Victor, Victor, no Victor. Claudia? No. Oh, meeting. We are 13 now. Mario Ernesto. What happened to the microphone, Mario? Silent mute today. Okay. Well, nice. Hola. José Alfredo. ¿Y dónde andaba? Tratando de conectar mis audífonos, no. Es que a veces no funcionan muy bien. Oh, 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 ok, ok. José Alfredo. Nice. Pach. Hoy sí ya no vamos a esperar nada. Let's begin. Mm. Disconnecte a Mario and connect them again. That happens sometimes. Or check uh, the configuration that you have for Zoom, right? Well, that it's nice to see you. It's nice to see you. We are ready to start. As I said, today we are going to be talking about pricing. Let me share. October, October, Asha. We are, uh, our objective today is to discuss pricing strategy. So we're going to be talking about all related to pricing. And at the end, your presentation will be, um, hi, oh, sí, sí, le oímos muy bien. And, the, the presentation that you will do will be related to that. What things affect pricing and what can we do to keep pricing uh, not being a problem for people? Uh, think about the pandemic and all disasters or whatever thing that may happen that the prices should continue working for people, right? Okay. Well, hey, I have many questions today for you, but they are very easy and personal questions, right? So you can perfectly answer them according to your experience. Check number one. When, when you go shopping, do you go for price or quality? I guess this depends on the type on the time of the month we are, right? <laughs> okay, what's the meaning? The, in the pen t-shirt, uh, the product. Uh-huh, exactly depends on for, the... for example, if I want to buy shoes, 
maybe for quality. Yes. You may pay $100, but you know they will last the year, right? Okay. What's the meaning of you get what you pay for? And then you have, how often have you changed to a cheaper brand? Have you ever been happily surprised that the cheaper product turned out to be better than the regular product you bought before? And which products have kept the same price for a long time? Tokyo y ninguno, right? Which products have been relaunched with a new design? Are you loyal? Coca-Cola, maybe? Mm -hmm. Okay. Are you loyal to a particular brand? Why? Why is pricing important? Let me see that this went without it. Without a number. Okay. Why is price important? What should you consider when setting? What should you consider when setting the price of a product? And then explain in detail, right? It's but, okay. Those are the questions that you're going to discuss. I'm going to send you to the groups for you to share and give your own, your own opinion. Okay. Do you price. send the question in the chat? Yes, yes, yes. I'm Thank you. To them. I need my, my, bueno, se las voy a pegar así. Para que las puedan copiar y pegar ustedes en sus en su papelito. Uh -huh. ah, espérenme que se me atravesó algo. Pues no. Miren, my good intention. Dice, no quiere. Ok, vaya, pues entonces ni modo. Ni modo, ni modo. Let's cut and paste. I wanted to, to paste the whole message. But then WhatsApp says, that message is too long. So please not. No, there you go. Right, teacher. Uh, control C. Sí, sí, no, pero pero para copiarlo todo y pegárselos como texto, no. Yes. Really. Normally you can't do it. No, sí pude copiarlo. Lo que no acepta es WhatsApp que lo pegue porque es muy largo. Dijo. Ese es el asunto. Bye. That's, that's weird. Sí, pues, sí. But it's not the first time that it says that the message is too long to pay. Por eso se los mandé así como, como. Three questions and three questions is her. ¿Verdad? Sí, mira, vamos a ver. Control C. Pero. No, dice que no, que no y que no. De Bye. tres en tres, teacher. Teacher, <laughs> you. Ya you les pegué. Can... Ya les pegué el cuadrito completo. <ríe> Va, check. ¿Qué es la página de grupo? Pues sí, de are in the, in the group of WhatsApp. Vaya, eh, I'm going to make groups. You are 18. Oh, miren qué bonito. Now you are 18. I'm going to make groups of three. Hmm. One group will be of two. Yeah, and the others will be groups of three. Okay. Vaya, esperemos que todos estén. Y si no, pues ahí empiezo yo a hacer mezclas de gente de todo, de cualquier grupo que vea abandonado hoy. Let's go. Ready, join. Good evening, teacher. Hello, Ana. How are you? Teacher. Todavía no llego a mi casa. Quizás a eso de las nueve. Pero puede, puede como contestarles ahí a los chicos. Hay que escriba. Eh, el, el miércoles. 
I que, I que escriba otro hoy. Bye. Go ahead. Try to join. Join, join. Vamos a ver. Ana, I sent you to a group already. Nice, nice. Great. Somebody can share the, the, the screen. Oh, I... Hello? Okay. Hi, hi. Hi, teacher. How are you? All questions are gonna are gonna be discussed, teacher. The, I sent the, I sent the questions to WhatsApp. Yeah, but all questions. She todas, 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 todas. Okay. Hoy sí vamos con todo. Ok, teams. Ok, team. The first question is. First question is. When you go shopping. When you go shopping. Do you go for price or quality? For me, the same. The, the two. Price and quality is. Okay. What about you, Nubia? Mm, in my case, I I I am shopping the. Um, quality in the products but um, um, in these days our products Chinese products that low prices and the product it's uh, good uh, depends other products, mm, but I, I, I quality in the products. You prefer quality, okay, that's good. Yes. I am agree with you. Okay, when I go shopping, Especially for shoes, I prefer to pay um, quality because because when you pay a low price in this case for for shoes, um, the um, how do you say el tiempo que duran, teacher? The time they last. The time. the time they last is for three months, four months. So you have to, to buy three times in the years. Why not? Why not pay three, three times in once for all long year? It's the same. But it's, it's more security okay what's what's the meaning of you get that you get what you pay for in my case i paid uh 
in... detergente, ¿cómo es que se dice que se me olvidó la palabra? Teacher. Detergent. In detergent. detergent. Maybe in detergent, I, I see the price. So for me, no is ever uh, things or other things. Mm -hmm. I ever see one thing and another thing depends uh, the product. Yeah. Yeah, for me, I always take, um, I always take all of the, all of kinds of things for quality because sometimes it's just that uh, the detergent, but uh, in many cases, uh, when I shop, when I buy, sorry, when I buy the for price, when I choose something for price, uh, in many cases, my clothes are dark or are uh, white. It is, is damaged. Sorry? Damaged. Yeah, cause cause damage in my clothes. And that's why I prefer uh, quality the price. Do you do you use a detergent in liquid? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But you need more in your um Watch, uh, machine. Watch machine. Yeah, you need more than that others when you buy quality. And sometimes uh, you need a big uh, cup. And so, when it is a if it is a quality, you just need a little bit. So uh, in the next question, because we need to discuss all that. Yeah. <laughs> what is the meaning? Uh, you get what you pay for. Uh, for rice. Could you say something about the number two? Or it's not here, rice, each year. For me, it's what's a the lot meaning of, of you? For me, it's alloy. It's, it's good, teacher. Una ley? Allow. 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 Sí, creo, sí, creo que así es. Allow. Por mí, para mí, eso es, eso es ley. Eso es ley. Yo no discuto. Ah, law. Law. Ley. Ajá. Law. 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 Okay. How often have you changed to a super brand? And not much. Mm -hmm. Not much. To be honest, not much. For me, have, you, have you ever been happily surprised than the super product? Um, maybe turn around but the question it is the cheaper product turn around to turn turn around to be better than the regular product you bought oh yeah sometimes but if, for example uh, when it's black examples. weekend no but that no for example, uh, I tried one time uh, a juice that is more cheaper than Super Hugo. Do you do you try that? Mm -hmm. uh, I don't remember mm -hmm. the name. I don't remember the name of the brand, big, but it's like one dollar cheaper than Super Hugo, and it's more delicious. Maybe could be an example of that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, the next. Okay. Which products have kept them kept the same price for a long time? Mm -hmm. Like I said in the in the room, uh, Coca Cola. Yeah. Uh, 
-hmm. I remember like, in, I don't know, five years or something like that. Is at the same price, one dollar. Mm -hmm. Yeah. For you? Yeah. Are you which products have been relaunched, re relaunched with uh, new design? New design. New design. New design. Uh, new design. Um, I remember many. Then I think in snacks. 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 Mm -hmm. I agree. I agree. Okay. And are you loyal to a particular brand? Why? Yeah. I am. I I am. Uh, I am a loyal client. <laughs> for son for Samsung. I have I like this brand for all of kind of device, for example, the TV, the washing machine, the Ooh. yes, I am loyal with the a, a brand shoes. For example, Nike and Adidas. Um, mm -hmm. This is not loyal. Why is pricing important? Mm. Because with the price, you decide compared uh, with another product. You can compare it. Okay. Um, what should you consider when setting the price of a product? Mm. Quality. Yes. Quality. Raw material. Mm. Yeah. Raw material. Uh, presentation. Cost. Yeah. Cost. Mm. Um, elaboration. Margin profit. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Okay, so good. Mm -hmm. Um, el design. Yeah, is the product has a design, a unique design. Maybe people could pay a unique price too. Yes. Okay. This is a, this has been a good discussion. Okay, teacher. You finished, right? We finish. Okay. Nice, nice. Just let me check one more group to see how they're doing. And then I call you. I don't know. I think any. Maybe, maybe it will be the toilet paper, paper. What? The toilet paper, paper. Mm. That, that keep the price in the same time. Well, in 2010, uh, it dropped the, the price, but uh, right now it is the same all the year. Price, what, what do you think? I think, well, no, no, I don't know. Uh, I, I see all products 
is expensive in this day. Yeah, so what product do, do you think that, that uh, keep the same price all the time? Mm. It are not movie. I don't know. <laughs> if for you? Uh, well, for me, it would be uh, I don't know. <laughs> uh, how do you say canasta básica? Like, no, but the, it's expensive. Yeah, but uh, the things that the items that in Canasta Basica, they change his price all the time. So the products that are not in the Canasta Basica, how do you say Canasta Basica? Canasta Basica. Uh, well, well, the products that are not in the Canasta Basica, because uh, we would not change his price. I don't know any product uh, that keep the same price. I, I know a service, a service that uh, keep his price all the time. Uh, when you are going to, to receive a product in Correo Nacional. Uh, okay, um, uh-huh. Uh, you you need to buy a uh, like three dollars uh, all the time when you are going to receive it, all the time. Uh, okay. They they keep the price uh, that price uh, wherever you you go. If you go in December. If you go in in the January. They keep oh, I hear price. that. In a couple of minutes, everybody will be back. In a couple of seconds, right? Ten seconds. Okay. Well, everybody here, let's share the questions. Okay. When you go shopping, I will ask for volunteers or victims here, right? When you go Hmm? When I have money. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Let, let to finish. Let to finish the question. <laughs> when you go shopping, do you go for price or for quality? What do you go for when you go shopping? So now, Mario, you can answer. <laughs> I go for I think that price, price because uh, I would like to buy a lot of products that are high, uh, <laughs> high quality, but they are more expensive, and uh, maybe I don't have the money to, to buy. Okay. So I like to go to buy to go for a price product. Go for price, but but you ever uh, chose that. Uh, so many times you will be shows quality, for example, in cell phones or things like that. No, no. I always like a, I I look I am looking for price. I always always in like internet, like the cell phone, like a, I don't know in 
whatever product. I always go for price. Okay. Great, great. Yeah, my cell phone is Marca Pajari. Right? Because a good brand, as Mario says, a good brand, it's very expensive, right? And I don't want to be paying for a long time a phone that will last me the time I will be paying for it. And then I will have to continue paying for another one because that is damaged and I have to get another one. So I understand your point. Now, let's see number two. What's the meaning of you get what you pay for? What does it mean? A ver, Jose Alberto. You get what you pay for. I think uh, uh, it's like a uh, cheap is expensive. Mm -hmm. Can you explain that a little bit? Uh -huh. Okay. Um, when you can go to shopping and and you can uh, choose uh, or you have a choice and with two products with the same uh, characteristics, but one is more, you know, what is, one is cheap and the other is so expensive. If you decide buy the cheap, you have a risk for a short life or dura, duración duration, vida. Mm -hmm. duration. Yeah. Uh, in in almost always you can use the product about uh, two three uh, weeks in 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 some case and if you decide about the, the by the expensive you can use the product uh, for a long time and it can last the most mm -hmm. As Mauricio was saying at the beginning related to the shoes right mm -hmm. yeah for men are very expensive we women I would say the most I have paid for a pair of shoes has been 65 dollars that's expensive for me right that a man, a pair of shoes in $65, you find it cheap, right? Because shoes for men are more expensive. How much is the most you will pay for a pair of shoes? Like $18. 18 or 80? Eighty. Eighty. Okay. About ninety. Ninety. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because uh, shoes for men are more expensive. Now the question is for the women. How much is the most you will pay for a pair of shoes? A pair of shoes that you have to wear to work, not the one for the party, right? The one for the party, they are another story. But what about the, the shoes that you will need to use to wear to go to work every day? What's the most they will pay? Niñas? <laughs> no ladies? It depends, Fisher. Uh -huh. Depends on what, Nubia? Working shoes, shoes for going to work, not the ones for the party party. Um, for example, in my case, I I purchase um uh, a sheet shoes for because I prefer more shoes for the for the depends the depending is the it the clothing. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I prefer more for the for the work, for example. Okay. For more not for the same amount. 
for the same amount of money. So what she means, Mauricio, is that instead of buying only one pair of shoes in $90 like you do, we women can buy three pairs of shoes of $30 each pair or four pairs of shoes in $25 or $20 each, right? That is a change in different styles, different colors, uh, to have a variety. Do all women agree with that? Yes. Okay. Because it, it's very different. You see, a man, you have one pair of shoes, and for you, one pair of shoes is enough for going to the party, for going to a funeral, for going... Or maybe two, work. maximum three. Right? Uh -huh. But women, we need a pair of shoes for going to work, for going shopping, if I'm going to go to a party, if I'm going to go out with a friend. So tend to wear... Depends depend depend. our activities. Okay, uh -huh. exactly, depending on the activities. Right? In my case, only tennis shoes okay for the gym and um one part a pair of boots for the work okay mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay so no formal nubia um, high heels <laughs> I, I don't have high heels either I um, have I appear I, for my graduation, but I don't have high heels either. Yes, me too. I I I Fort. the juice. Right? Comfort. A ver, who of the ladies here? Who heels? Taco to go to work. No. <laughs> no. Anna with children, you in high heels? No, never. I always <laughs> use tennis oh, yes. or flat shoes. Flat shoes, yes. Elsa, Cristina, do you wear high heels to go to work? I, I always, I always, all the time I wear, I wear high shoes. I like it a lot. You like high heels, okay. Yeah. Carlita, do you wear high heels? No, I can't in my work because I only how to use uh, uh, boots, uh, boots, work boots. Uh -huh, work boots, okay. Or, or if I stay in the office, I can use tennis. Okay. Okay, let's see who's there. To ask hmm, Jennifer, no Jennifer, Jennifer, hello. No, here, Jennifer, right? Teacher, in my case, in the weekend, I use a uh, flat sandals. Okay, sandals, nice. Adriana Sofia. I have a question. Tell me. How do you say chanclas? Sandals. Sandals. Las chancletas y las sandalias son sandals. Mm -hmm. and, and if you can use Look, encanto. zapatillas así bien planitas, those are flats. 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 Uh -huh. A ver, espérenme que ahí andaba Adriana Sofía, ¿verdad? Sí, aquí estoy. Ok, aquí. Adriana, Adriana Sofía, what do you wear to work? What type of shoes do you wear to work? Sometimes I wear heels and sometimes I wear flats. It depends on what? On the day? If it is Monday, you can wear heels. If no, Thursday, <laughs> Monday and Tuesday, I wear heels. <laughs> and the rest of the week, you use flats. Okay. Do you wear Wednesday and Thursday, I wear flats. And Friday, I wear sneakers okay nice so when you wear skirt you have to wear high heels right right that's why i only wear pants for not wearing i only wear pants so if you wear skirt 
it is mandatory to use heels and stockings. So, uh -uh. Better okay. hands. <laughs> okay, okay. Now let's go question number three. How often have you changed to a cheaper brand? It can be about whatever product, your shampoo, the, um, the clothes or shoes or food, whatever. We're talking about general, right? General shopping. So have, how often have you changed to a cheaper brand? Almost never. Almost never. Okay. Teacher, pero um, in this day, um, uh, you find in the market cheap uh, Chinese products that are good. Yes. Mm -hmm. So you can go for them, right? For yes. example, remember the example I was giving you before uh, last week about the cups. You used to buy ceramic plates, ceramic uh, cups. Now the Chinese have brought all those things to us. I don't like melanini, right? Melanini definitely, mm -mm -mm -mm, that is bad for your health. And it's a good plant, so no. But what, what is the difference? Melanina, uh, those, those dishes, that you see, well, you buy them milk and you see a plate that comes there. Those are good for decoration, but for eating mm -mm. and for putting hot for, for putting hot food, uh-uh, either, right? But they are cheap and people use them, especially when they have children, but they are not safe. Okay, but the Chinese have also this type of material that is not ceramic as we used to have before, but it's, it's cheaper, right? So sometimes we can go for that. Okay, next question. Have you ever been happily surprised that the cheaper product you turn out to be better than the regular one you bought? Imagine you say, I know it. this brand has gone very expensive. So I'm going to change, I'm going to buy this other one. And then you notice that the new one is cheaper and is better. Has that happened to you? Mm -hmm. With the shampoo, for example, with the makeup that you use, or with some other things that we regularly use. No? Or never, you have never gotten that happy surprise that, oh, wow, look, this product I bought is cheaper and it's better. For example, with the rice, I discovered el arroz pulido. I love it. Before, I used to buy San Pedro, San Francisco, those are all the saints, right? Which rice did you say? Arroz pulido, that's the name, pulido, but it's only pulido. super selectos. You don't find it in the Spencer of one, just super select. I am going to buy it. It's very it's cheaper. It's $2, the four pounds. You have four pounds, $2. All the other brands are about three and something, almost $4, but that one is $2, the, the big bag four pounds so i bought it first for price now i buy it because i have tried the product i i really love it you when you prepare the rice it's not sticky right it's very, but it's only precocido right that's the only they have they don't have white rice but as i said i was surprised because the brand was and I bought it for cheaper, right? I changed and I said, hmm, $2 to three sixty. I will buy this one better. And then I got surprised that the brand was very good. They have nothing else, only rice. And, and I tried it. And since then, that was about two years ago, 
Since then, I always go for rice and I go that brand, that specific brand, and it's pretty good. So I was really surprised. What about you? Have you ever gotten surprised? For about me, teacher, I surprised with the, I don't know if anybody here mm, to know uh, the South La Chula. Mm. The beans or the South? The South. Okay. Uh, normally I brought uh, Naturas. So yeah. I tried that is like similar. Maybe no better, but are but it's like good. more more cheaper, more cheaper and I similar for the same price. Okay, uh, no, it's bad. That's good to know. You see, that's another product we can we can try. Okay, which products have kept the same price for a long time? In these days, difficult. No right? one. No product, no, no. product. No product has kept the same price. I, I can say two t shirts. Which ones? Coca Cola. Mm. No. no. Don't have the, the same price. Is, it, is you brought uh, La de Litro? Or um, how much is it right know, now? Five years or three or four years? Three uh, months ago, they. Dollar. They uh, added like a uh, ten cents. How much is Coca Cola mm. litro right now? One dollar. One dollar. I buy it for one dollar. Three months ago, three three months ago, uh, cost uh ninety cent. I used to buy it about three four years ago. I used to buy it in seventy cents. So yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. Uh huh. So they have changed the price through the through the time. Not not long time, right? Four years to here, it is thirty cents extra. And there is no one. There is no one. All right. No product. Okay. Number five. Um. No. Number six. Which products have been uh, relaunched with a new design? The snacks. Uh huh. Tennis shoes. Okay. I remember a shampoo I used to use, uh, Sedal. Sedal was relaunched with a new design, but they also changed the formula and I didn't like it anymore. Because you see my hair is straight. So it used to leave my hair very nice, but then with the new formula, mm, no more but they relaunched the product with a new design. Sometimes they change the bottle, right? Or they just the etiquette or they change whatever. What product do you know that has been relaunched with a new design? I remember Margarina Mirasol a long time ago. Uh -huh. It had a, a different package, but now it's a little a bit more more simple but it's different they relaunch the brand mm -hmm, mm -hmm. if you notice today zoom has gotten a new design too yeah right in the icon i i like a three three days ago really i uploaded yeah, yeah. <laughs> i like uploaded it. The, i updated the it it's the updates what did you say? It depends on the update. Ah, okay. I updated it today. And then I saw, hey, what happened with the camera? Now it is a circle with zoom in the middle. I liked more the camera, right? Because I do not confuse it with the other platform that I use. Mm -hmm. Okay. Are you loyal to a particular brand? Is there a particular brand that you say, well, I can change any brand, but not this one? I think, uh, when in, in my case, only uh, for the toothpaste. Which one? Colgate. Yeah. I have tried different brands and you feel your mouth very sweet and it's like, 
It's not something that you want to feel in your teeth, right? After you have brushed them. Do you know, Bran, I, I, I am very loyal to, and I have used it for a couple of years, is Leche Salud. I do not use any other. And that's why I don't buy anything that includes milk anywhere. Because the only brand I can drink without a problem in my stomach is Salud. So I'm very loyal with that brand. Uh -huh. What about another? Who else? Uh, in my case, T-shirt, uh, I am too loyal to you with uh, the Pampers, Marca Pampers. Okay. Okay, Anna. In my case, um, the gas station, Texaco. Texaco, Contecron. Right. Okay, make it, we're ready to make commercials. Excellent. David, right? Uh huh. A ver, Anna, Anna, Anna. Anna. I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. I'm loyal to. <laughs> yes, like. Like, how do you say swipes? Wipes. 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 Uh huh. Last. I only, I, only, I, always, I always pay attention in the, not the letters, only the image. I have that problem. Oh. I know what, which is my brand because of the, not uh, not about the letters, just about the design, the the draw, the the color, kind of that. Yeah, so yeah. I know the one that. Aha! Uh -huh. So the one that I use to use is that they have Mickey. <laughs> Mickey. Uh, Which one? Haggis. Haggis. Do you use Haggis? Yes. Uh -huh. I use Pompon. Pompon. They are in a green box. Well, no box. In a green package. Right? A ver, Rosy. What about you? Are you loyal to a particular brand? Yes, teacher. I loyal the brand yogurt, yes. Okay, yeah. Yogurt, yes. What about frijoles rojos de seda? Don frijol. Two. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, because at this time of the year, they are very, very soft. Right? Only at this time of the year. The rest, no, but this time of the year, yeah. Okay, and one last volunteer, Nubia. Are you loyal to a particular brand? Yes, in my case, I loyal to a tennis shoes brand uh, Nike mm -hmm. or Adidas. Adidas. For the quality, design, comfort. comfort. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Do you, well, uh, we have been talking about pricing, right? Quality and all those things. Why is pricing important? Why? Mm -hmm. Why is pricing important? T-shirt important for who? For you, for a buyer. Where it's important for both, right? For the company who is selling and for the person who is buying, customers. Yeah, I see the the pricing for the point of view of the of the company mm -hmm. because uh, it's it's like a, a a starting point when you when you entering a market with the other competitors uh, is is it's like a strategy uh, yeah yeah, is the strategy, the strategy for play, for uh, can use can no for you can have a, 
ah, ¿cómo se dice? Una ventaja an o una desventaja. An advantage. An advantage. An advantage. advantage. Uh -huh. An advantage over the competitors. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Definitely. And what should we consider when setting the price of a product? What should we consider? The four piece. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, because if we have the right place, we can have the right product, we can get the right price. Right? Okay. Nice. Nice. Bye. We got to check attendance, second attendance, before I forget. Let's see. Adriana Maria. Somewhere. Adriana Maria. I saw you, I saw you. Si sí, no me gusta, son redondito, eh. Porque todo es redondo. <laughs> Me niego. <laughs> okay, Adriana Mariano here. No. Adri. No, verdad. No, Adriana María. Okay. Adriana Sofía. Present teacher. Nice. Ana. Ana. Present teacher. Present. Okay. Oh, I hear you like a robot. <laughs> okay, Cruz Antonio. Present. Great. David. Present teacher. Nice, David. Eddie. All right. Elmer Fabricio. Present. Nice, nice. Another robot. Elsa Cristina. Present teacher. Félix Enrique. Present teacher. Grace Michelle. Present teacher. Nice, Grace. Ivo Marcela. One. Ivo, one. No here. No. No, 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 right? Oh, yes. Oh, we are we are 20, 21 today. No, but I won't know here. Okay. Jennifer Elizabeth. Present teacher. Nice. Jose Alberto. Present. Jose Alfredo. Jose Alfredo. Jose Alfredo. Por allá andaba. Eh, Carla Lorena. Present teacher. Nice. Mario. Mario, microphone. Hi, hi. <laughs> Nubia Zulema. Nubia, Nubia. Present teacher. Nice. Rebecca Marcela. Present teacher. Nice. Rosa Hilda. Present teacher. Great. Victor. Present teacher. Hey, Claudia Guadalupe. Claudia. Claudia. Claudita. Is Claudia here? Oh, yeah. Claudita, your microphone. No mic. Okay. And Mauricio Emilio. Present teacher. So we have two absent today. Nice. Nice, nice. Pacha. Let's go back to the presentation. I have a story. Present. Claudia. Ah, la Claudita. Microphone. Con en huelga, ¿verdad? <laughs> Sorry, teacher. Sure. Okay. 
¿Quién dijo teacher? Alfredo. Sí, Mario. Mario. Tell me, Mario. Uh, I know a group that uh, almost never has a Chinese right. Uh, the, the license. Ah, uh, really? When you are going to. Uh, how much do you pay for the driver's license? Like uh, $15. Hmm? $15. $15? Yeah. Okay. It's always the same price for all the money. Oh. And has almost never changed. Okay. That's good. I don't have a car, so I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you, Mario. Thank you very much. Well, I have a story for you. Hey, hey. Let's see. With it says one day, Tony Stark from Stark Industries decided to launch his super incredible mega computer. Its processing capacity was huge. Almost its response was immediate, but there was a problem. Its price. The computer consisted of a positronic brain made up by thousands of microchips working together. It was fast and efficient. Every company wanted to own one, but it sold for $1 million. Very few companies could afford it. But as Tony put it, if you want the best, you have to pay for it. At the end, only six supercomputers were sold. The good part was that each computer was built by request. So if the computer wasn't requested, it wasn't built. In order to set prices, we must consider the quality of the materials, their accessibility, how long they last, and what benefits the product will bring. But of course, this comes after considering the basic time, labor, materials, energy, taxes, and transportation. High-end products are obviously more expensive, that, but they will last longer, bringing their benefits to committed customers for a long period of time. Okay, that was an invented story of Mr. Tony Stark from Stark Industries. Okay, now the questions. What's the story about? About a computer about, that they built that it was a little, it was uh, expensive. Very, right? Very expensive. What does Mr. Stark's story illustrate? That the quality is paid. Mm -hmm. You pay for what you get, right? Okay. What quality were Mr. Stark's computers? What quality, what quality were his computers? That it has a lot of uh, parts. Mm -hmm. And it was only for when you call for Forget it. it, they are not ensembled. They were ensembled by, by pedido. <laughs> okay, if, or, if somebody ordered them. Okay, but what about the quality? What quality did they have? It's high quality. High quality, yes. Why were they so good? Why? Because they are uh, with too many microchips working together. Uh -huh, uh -huh, exactly. Why couldn't everybody afford them? Because too, too, too expensive. Oh, extremely expensive, right? How much were they? How much? One million. One million dollars. One million. 
How many were sold? Six. Only six. six. Only six. 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 Imagine. So he made six million dollars. That's it. What should we consider when setting up prices? Many factors. Many factors. Uh huh. What else? Ax. Ax. What? I don't understand the question. Excuse me, teacher. Could you repeat? What should we consider when selling the product? Check here. But of the course, basic, this, uh, considering the basics, time, labor, materials, energy, taxes, and transportation, high-end goods are obviously more expensive. Uh -huh. So you see, uh, when, when taking into account the price, right, you have to think of basics, time, labor, materials, energy, taxes, and transportation. And also uh, consider the quality of the materials they're using, no? And the accessibility, the lasting time and benefits of the product. So there are many things to consider, right? Like if you say, well, I'm taking into account the people who are going to work for making this and I have to pay them a salary. How much time will that take? The, the materials that I need, energy, the taxes I have to pay. If I have a loan, if I have to pay a rent, the transportation of the product, the packing, everything, right? But also uh, there are a couple of things that we count like apart, right? And it's the quality. Are the materials I'm buying good quality? We well, not just buying materials, right? But are they good quality? If I buy good quality materials, I would have good quality product. Accessibility. You saw the story. If the product is too expensive, no many people will be able to buy it, right? Why phone sure. sold? Mm -hmm. uh, so, what is the meaning? What is the meaning of high end? High. High end. Where are you? When you say high end products are obviously. <laughs> Tell me the line. The, the last before the last one okay high-end products are obviously more expensive high-end like the products that finish with a very good quality at the end because you got the best quality materials to use or to make them right because you can yeah, make Mm -hmm. It's like when you when you talk about the the cell phones and the high end is uh, the most expensive and the better the best uh, mm -hmm. yeah. the best quality mm -hmm. like un tope de gama we could say so the one the highest uh, quality that you may have in that product. But of course, if you, as somebody was saying, if you get the, the high quality product, it will last longer, right? And at the end, it will bring benefits to the customer. And imagine, remember last week, I was giving you the example of my printer, right? Now I have a printer for two years and you may say, teacher, but only two years. Well, they die at two years because that is the obsolescence that has been programmed with the printer. But before, before we decided to get this one, we were always buying those printers that are $35, that are cheaper than the ink, right? 
but they lasted ¿qué? three, four months, six months, and then, and at the end, I finished with my uh, closet, no, no, that was not the closet, like my shelf, full of printers that didn't work, right? Because we said, ah, maybe in the future, maybe in the future. Then we were looking for a, for a type of installation of the, of the ink that it could run continuously, but it didn't work either. And the printers were lasting the same four months, five months, and then. So at the end, I decided to, to buy one that is $200, but that lasts for two years. I'm talking about four people printing, not all the time, right? But printing regularly. For example, right now, my daughter is printing my exams that I have tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So the, the benefit is that they last longer. Yeah, two years is better than four months. And if you multiply okay, $35 in, oh, make the calculation, right? $35 and it lasted three months. How many printers will I have to buy through the years? Okay, through those two years. At the end, it will be more. And the ink that is about $25, $30 too. Okay, so at the end, the quality, right? The quality that you get, even it is more expensive, yeah, but it will last longer. And that's what we're saying here. What should we consider when setting the, the price? All the things, the quality, the accessibility. So yeah, it has to be expensive, but not too much because if no people will not buy it, right? Only the stars, there are some uh, cars, for example, that they are, unique because they were made for a for a famous person that could afford to pay millions of dollars for that but a normal person will not buy them right so the accessibility is something very important remember the market where are you buying or where are you selling the product you have to take into account uh, to take that into account for the price too not only these basic things that we already know that we have to include, but also I want to make a profit, right? When I'm selling a product, I'm, I'm looking for profit. That if I have a lot of product in my inventory and I don't sell them because it's not accessible, because it's too expensive. Mm -hmm. So this is also very important. If not, we will be like Tony Stark. We will say we will sell only six products, right? And we want to sell more, of course. Okay, any question here? Question? Nope. No, teacher, no question. Okay. Teacher, excuse me. In the question numbers five, I, number five, why couldn't everybody afford them? For it means like get it. To be able to pay for it. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Because remember that the companies didn't get it because they couldn't pay for it, right? They didn't have the money. Imagine if you have $1 million to run all the company, you won't use those million, that $1 million in one computer if you have to do many other things to function, right? So they couldn't afford, they couldn't pay for it. They didn't have the money to do it, right? Okay, now it's I- It's caring about the, the customers, not the company. Uh -huh, but the companies here were the customers, no? The ones that were going to buy the, the computer. 
but they yeah. were not able to buy it. Imagine if a company couldn't buy that computer, an individual person will not be able to buy it either. Yeah, unless it is a famous actor or actress that has more money. They would okay. say, my computer is $1 million, right? If no, no, they wouldn't be able to pay for it. Okay. Now let's look at these questions. Have you ever seen these pricing strategies? In your experience, right? Um, there are price strategies that some businessmen use. For example, instead of saying this is $2, they say it is $199. Yeah, that's the that's usually. That is the psychologic pricing. Yeah, they use the psychologic pricing. Because if they tell you it's $2, you say, no, que caro, $199, oh, yeah, it's okay. Because he said $1.99. It's only one penny, the difference, right? Number two, price scheming. Start with higher prices and lower them over time. That's price scheming. It's like, hmm, eh, we're not selling the product. Let's sell it a little cheaper, a little cheaper, a little cheaper. So the, the price goes lower with the time penetration pricing you start with lower that's the opposite to the price scheming right you start with lower prices and increase them over time like coca-cola right that they have increased in their price over time and there are products for example vaya las pupusas the pupusas have been increasing over time now you find pupusas in one dollar, one twenty-five everywhere. Before they were 25, 35, 40 cents, right? 30 cents, I remember, a couple of years ago, right? That's penetration pricing. And then you have the competitive pricing. You keep your prices lower than those of the competition. If my competition is selling something in 250, I'm going to sell it in 245. Five cents make a difference. People may go with me because my product is five cents less, right? That's a competitive pricing. Then we have the premium pricing. You sell the idea that these prices are for luxury high end products. And you know many brands, right? Can you mention a couple of brands that are premium pricing? Apple. Apple. Mm -hmm. Another one? Monterrey Jack Cheese. Okay. Yeah. It looks Mercedes -Benz. expensive. Uh -huh. Mercedes-Benz. Another? Only? Well, there are many orders, right? Kroger's. Um, mm -hmm. What did you say? Apple. Okay, okay. Anchor pricing. That's place on sale on the article. Place on sale on the article and write the original price next to it for people to realize how much they are saving. So you have a product, right? You say, this is $20. That today it is on sale. So you will buy it for $15, right? In the supermarkets, that's very common. So at the end, when you pay, they show you, right? Look, you were saving uh, this amount of money because of this anchor pricing, right? And the last one, loss leader pricing. The more you buy, the cheaper they will be for you, right? The loss leader pricing. So the more you buy, the cheaper they will be for you. So you buy two, you have a price, you buy three, it's, a, it's you're getting a discount, right? 
but it's because they are no leaders anymore. So they can go down with the price to get at least some people still buying the product. Okay. Have you ever seen these pricing strategies? Had you not? Yes. yes, teacher. Which ones in particular? At the supermarket, at the shoe store, mm -hmm. at the restaurant. Yes. <laughs> yes. Everywhere. 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 Yes. And that psychologic pricing and the anchor pricing, I think, are like the most obvious right that we can see them in everywhere okay well let's go you're going to work in groups check in groups you're going to prepare a presentation about the scenario causing prices to be increased how and how it has affected the market negatively or positively right a scenario. What scenario can you think that is affecting the market? Mm -hmm. I'm going to send you to work. Let's see, I'm going to make groups. But can you explain us about causing? Causing lower prices or highly prices? Uh-huh. It's a prepare a presentation about that scenario. Think about a scenario, right? Or a situation causing prices to be increased. For example, la pandemia, right? With the pandemia, everything where well, toilet paper, remember, almost disappears, right? <laughs> people, I don't know why people were crazy buying toilet paper. Why toilet paper? So a, a good example, teacher. Mm -hmm. The fucking face mask. Ah, la face mask. Yes. I buy it for a dollar. Yeah. So now for a dollar or for two dollars, you can buy a box. A complete packet of 50 masks, right? Okay. And then you will... Uh, Think about a, a, a scenario, right? Causing prices to be increased and how it has affected the market. For example, the, the last hurricane, remember all the candles fly away. Exactly, exactly. And then think about how that has affected the market in a negative or in a positive way. I'm gonna share that in the chat because it's not there, right? So, I'm gonna no. Okay, watch. Look, look, look. I'm going to make groups, right? Almost have it. You were in groups of three. You were in, Ibong is here, no. Okay. Well, you were in groups of three, but I'm going to change you. So you work in other groups. Let's see, we have one group of four. Ah, two groups of four. Uh -huh, but I don't know. When I'm going to be checking later on if everybody is there. Okay. Da, 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 da. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. And and prepare a scenario, share, be ready to share, right? With the rest of the group. Any question? No. No, teacher. No, teacher, no. Thank okay. you. Okay, you're welcome. Let's go then, join. Join, join.
Claudia tried to join David, Victor, Claudia. Claudita, you're double connected. Jose Alfredo. Share. Sure. Tell me, Claudia. Bueno, está en la 1, pero no entro. Y vea, epa, la voy a mandar para el... Ahí está. ¿En cuál ah. está? Es que ha entrado al 1, pero la voy a mandar para allá con los dos... Con los dos... Eh... Ay, ajá. Porque está aquí, pero está allá. Sí, yo que estoy para allá y para... But I sent you to the same group with the two things that you're using, right? Okay. In group number one, yes. Okay. Perfect. Oh, an earthquake. Earthquake. Uh, or or elex, election espérenme eh, time when, when we choose a president pero voy a buscar elecciones eh, elections time or what else or summer eh. For me, all the increases uh, will be affect the market negatively because in in this country, all the people uh, don't have a good teacher. Uh, How I say, uh, como dicen a esto, Wait, poder, adquisitivo, poder adquisitivo. Ah, adquisitive power. Adquisitive power. So, if the price are increasing, uh, mm, all the time, ever will be negatively because the people uh, will be to buy it less and less and less. Exactly. And that affects the market very negatively. Yes, teacher. This happened in this time because all is uh, all prices. For example, pandemic. Ah, uh, but it's a presentation. Mm -hmm. Okay. You will share. Another scenario: the guerra, guerras. The war. Uh huh. War. Mm -hmm. Pero una guerra que, que afecte países productores. Aunque la guerra igual no afecte a todos porque muchos productos es importado. En inglés. Pero it depends where where is the war if it will affect you mm -hmm. because a war in i don't know africa maybe maybe won't affect you mm. as a war in in china or in this moment in russia 
Do you okay. think the war in Russia is not affecting the market? Yes. yes. I think yes. No, but I mean that it depends where is the, the war, how, how it will affect to you. For example, when there is, when there has been a war in Medio Oriente, right, in the Middle East. Mm -hmm. Maybe it won't affect you because you... Well, the gas gets very expensive. Ah, true, true. Mm -hmm. No, but in, in some places that, that, that are not... A producers, you mean? Like Iran... Oh, things well, no, but when we had when there was a, a so, war, bang, mm -hmm. white, it, it affected a lot. The same with the price of gas, uh -huh. because they are massive productors of, 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 gas. of gas, of natural gas, exactly. But if there is a war in a country that you that, that, that doesn't offer at any yes, product for you. That doesn't produce anything. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. uh -huh. Exactly. So, that, it will be less, right? But the, the wild no, no produce um, um, con, um, the, uh, potential countries. So the wild is is produced for a, a potential countries. Mm -hmm. And as we so, are yeah. sponsoring a war that also affects, right? Yes, affect. Uh, is it Honduras and El Salvador? <laughs> <laughs> it will affect us, right? <laughs> Creo que eso no le afectó a nadie. <laughs> We should investigate <laughs> if it affected somebody. Well, maybe us, yeah, definitely. Okay. But think how it affects a, a positively or negatively, right? Negative. Yeah. I don't know. Flete. Yeah, now it's easy. Little bit The chipping. Ah, shipping. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. not. Shipping. Mm -hmm. So, we are going to talk about uh, how the, the the price increase in war. Well, because it uh, uh, increased in many ways, right? So, uh, one topic that we, that we will talk about is in transportation. Because uh, there are many things that you, you need to, to, to pay, for example, taxes to form that product to your country, uh, or if you need to transport your product to other location, uh, you need to, to, to pay uh, the gas, the gas for that transportation, and it will be very expensive because uh, right now the economy is, is very high, talking about uh, that uh, topic of gas. Um, I don't know what else. What is the meaning of sizable market share? Where? Uh, no, it, 
it is something that I am reading. Oh, okay. Traceable market is say that uh, as a result, the this uh, this is a uh, this event of uh, price wars. That say it is a result of a company that has gained a sizable market share. Can you spell sizable? S I C A B L E. S I C C O Z. Z with Z, the yeah. sizable that has to be with the size, uh, big or small companies. Okay. Mm -hmm. Are you ready with your presentation? <clears throat> Almost. 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 Yes. Almost not. <laughs> Almost not. This. Almost not. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what do you think about the presentation? Hi, teacher. Hi. Hi, uh, hi. Wow, are you ready? Mm, so, so. Okay. Okay. In this presentation uh, about the scenario causing the prices to increase, how they affect the market negatively. Okay, you you need to explain the the picture or you the right to explain teacher. Uh, you can explain the pictures. That's good. Okay. For example. For example, uh, what do you want? Front. Uh, Elsa, what do you think about the... About what? The, the cause or the, the effect? It, uh, it okay, the war in Ukraine, Russia, okay, which the global oil price, prices. Yeah, we is... which we choose the gasoline uh, for oil? the products. Yes, the oil is the como petroleum. Oil, oil in general, yeah. in general, yeah. oil. Oil, oil in general. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, many products are made by uh, oil. That's why when, I, when there, are, there is a war, uh, it is the war is uh, closed or it is in the country that they produce uh, gasoline or oil. Uh, or many countries are around the world in Increase, increase the gasoline or the oil and machined and for many industries are used are using oil and there is a chain for uh, all of things that increase the prices and uh, the food and and the all of kinds of products uh, are increased when when there is a war in out in in one country that they produce oil. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um... Or uh, you want it. I explain why is the war Ukraine Russia. 
Russia. Oh no. The task number three was run every every sentences that I did. Would you like to share the work that we made, Jose Alfredo? Um, the photo uh -huh. that I sent you. Come on, come on. The photo that I sent you. Oh, yeah. Share the screen. She's asking. Yeah, that, that's the proper word. Permítame. <clears throat> Because I made it at the cell phone and we are at the computer. Mm. So you want him to share the screen? Yes. Teacher, esta cosa está fallando demasiado. <laughs> yeah. Zoom. The Se me actualizó ahora y no me aparece ningún botón ni para apagar el micrófono ni nada para mandar captura. <laughs> really? Sí. Pero es que lo de las capturas. Voy entonces a pasarlo por el correo. Pero... Make it bigger. Make it bigger. Mientras esté reducido, no le va a aparecer nada, right? Ya vio. Sí, ya lo abrí, pero. Igual. Me... No quiere. Tengo el gacún with you. Yeah. Ya me lo mandé. Sometimes there are updating that are not so good. And how are you doing? Are you about to finish? Almost, almost. Almost. Not yet. ¿Cómo vamos? Ok, one minute. Okay, everybody coming, nice. Twenty four seconds. Okay, we will go in order, which will be my first volunteer. Or we go in order, okay. Anna. Okay. We don't know if it's okay, but we're going to share. 
<laughs> of course, it should be good. Uh, our scenario, it was a tormenta tropical. Okay. So the product is the basic food or staple food. So in ba so basic food basket rise in price due to damage the agriculture and demand increases. Okay, great, great. And people are looking for food. You know, when there is a disaster, people get desperated, right, about the product because it's like that desperation thinking that it will disappear and then you they will finish without the product. Okay, very good. Next, next. Number one, Claudia, Guadalupe, David, Elsa, Christina, and Jennifer. Who will cheer? Okay, David, please. Could you cheer? Okay, we choose the event that Ukraine, Ukraine and Russia. Uh, of course, the product is oil. Uh, you know, oil are used, are using in all of machine, all of our country, all of cars and uh, it's very important this product all, for all over the world and many many countries the, uh, many countries um, like our country is uh, very very damaged uh, because uh, we don't produce a gasoline or oil and uh, hopefully uh, our president uh, or the president uh, gets us uh, a stop price and we we have a uh, uh, static prices for all of us and that's why the products uh, didn't get uh, or didn't have a uh, uh, high increase. price or increase the price of the pro of all products. And there are food and there are many activities in our country. And but in all over the world, uh, have uh, has a uh, uh, at the high price for gasoline. And maybe uh, this when when I, when there are wars, uh, all of the products increase. And it doesn't matter if it is near or far, right? If it is affecting you directly or not, it exactly. always happens. Okay. Exactly. Okay. Great, great. Thank you. Room number two. Adriana, Sofia, Rebecca, and Rosy. Who will cheer? Adriana, Sofia. Oh, we okay. didn't make a uh, presentation. Sure, you can cheer. You can check. We cannot see yet. No, we 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 didn't we didn't make that. Ah, you didn't do a presentation. You mean it's okay. We only discuss uh, several scenarios about uh, that causes price to be increased. One of them was natural disasters because uh, it cool causing that you lost your production so you need to import um, the products that 
that you instead that of you, producing now you import okay yeah and then the price increase uh, and and affect the market negatively and discuss the scenario uh, of war too and sometimes you you can it well in the most of the time it affects negatively but in some cases as if you are a warm country and your economic activity depends of the production of weapons it could affect you positively awesome. as United States. Mm -hmm. Exactly. It depends, right, on what's your rubro. If you sold weapons, wars are good for you. But if you just consume different products that are uh, sold or a war, we can say exported from those companies, then the prices get high and you get completely affected. Okay? okay. Great. Thank you, Sophie. Now let's see uh, Carla Lorena Mauricio. Teacher, uh, we don't make a... You didn't make a presentation. But additionally, we're talking about uh, the increase of their gas uh, about the war of Ukraine. But we, so, but if you want, I can talking about another thing. No, it's okay. It's okay, just add to what Sophie said. Do you have any extra information about a part of what? No, 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 no extra information. Use we are discussing uh, the things that are affecting, like uh, the vegetable, and the cereals, the oils, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. because uh, when the wars uh, begins. Uh, all the nations, eh, ¿cómo se dice condenar, teacher? Condenar. Condem sí, condem condemn. Condemn the attack of Russia. So they are eh, putting economic sanctions. Mm -hmm. eh, in this economic sanction was a eh, prohibir. Forbid. To forbid that it export the gas to many, many, many countries of Russia. And Russia was the own one principal uh, exporter of gas uh, of the world. So in, in the in the moment uh, the world can supply the demand. So mm -hmm. that's of course. Uh, that price increased too much. And when this price increased too much, increased mm, other things. Exactly. Like I said, uh, the vegetables, the oils, the cereals, and many things like that. Because of the transportation, right? The yes. transportation and the cooking. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Thank you, thank you, Mauricio. And then we go to, Anna was the first one, right? Yes. Yes, we were with Jose Alfredo. Yes. Eh, Jose Alberto, Mario, and Nubia. Uy, it's 10 p.m., 30 seconds for you. Ah. <laughs> okay, go ahead, tell me. So, oh, as we can see, uh, the most famous topic that uh, all of uh, that all of us we talk about is war. 
Mm -hmm. uh, so we are going to give a, a more information about that and uh, talking about this advantage of the price and war. Okay. Uh, the, the first one will be a high price of the gas uh, in that that comes from a war that it is a problem uh, for a companies or, or a country uh, because uh, it affects to the uh, transportation of the boat that right. you are going to to sell, for example, or something that you will buy. Uh, that problem comes with a, a high uh, price of a of ourselves, and that comes with a high uh, price with the products uh, that we are going to to use, for example. Uh, Jose, you want to talk to? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. Talk, talk. Okay. Uh, the work causes in the increase uh, in the fuel prices. Do that stop uh, showdays do to the work cause all products that have transport in the supply chain. Uh, seen uh, in an increase in, in, in the cost. Uh, everything goes in a chain. So uh, for the uh, conse consequence, the consequence are the the consequence are uh, in more in in always in the disadvantage uh, or desabastecimiento sería stopping the chair right oh, ah, okay well, let's say mm -hmm. that's all and of course it is affecting in a negative way right not a yeah not positive okay. it's a negative way very good thank you yeah. Maybe the positive only could be for uh, the country that have uh, gas, that have uh, petroleum. Mm -hmm. Only the for the ones for that them. are going to sell the product, right? They can sell it more expensive. Uh, yes. For for example. Uh, when I say that uh, the group number one, uh, talking about the uh, increase of the gasoline uh, about the war of Ukraine, uh, I want to share something about the gas. Uh, like everybody know, uh, the winter is coming in Europe. Uh -huh. so oh yeah normally normally russia is the principal export and the, and the principal provider of russia of the natural gas so now uh, for, for this war all the country are with economic sanction with russia mm -hmm. and russia are a Como se dice amenazando, teacher? Menas, giving a menas. Giving a menas that they are not selling more uh, natural gas. That could be uh, too bad for uh, oh, all the world. So in, in this in this case, a rope uh, search um, many options and the a real, a real option that they founded is to buy gas to Noruega. Norway. Exactly. If anybody knows, uh, Noruega has uh, many, many uh, uh, amounts of gasoline, sorry, petroleum, petroleum and natural gas. So but they it's are, not enough 
Is it enough for all Europe? What, what is your? Is it enough for all Europe? Yes. I think it's no. <laughs> because Norway is not very big, right? Yeah, yeah. but have too much uh, petroleum. That's a lot. They have a lot yeah, of petroleum. Too much petroleum. Okay. They are so rich. Okay. Because you know Europe is very, very big. Well, and the last group, you will do it tomorrow with time. Thank you, boys. Excellent discussion. And, well, let's go for the last attendance. And I'm going to tell you who's going to be with me today. Adriana Maria. Here, Adriana Maria. Hi. Hi, teacher. I'm here. Oh, okay. <laughs> Present. Good. Adriana Sofia. Present. Ana. Petimos a Ana. Cruz Antonio. David. Present teacher. Jonathan. Jonathan. Bueno, sí, Eri Jonathan. Elmer Fabricio. Present teacher. Elsa Cristina. Present teacher, see you tomorrow. Felix. Yeah. Felix. Present teacher. Where is Michelle? Hoy se queda conmigo, Felix, right? Uh, Grace, no here, Grace. Dear Grace. Bon. Jennifer. Present. Jose Alberto. Present teacher. Jose Alberto. Present teacher. Carla Lorena. Present teacher. Mario. Nubia. Present teacher. Rebecca. Present teacher. Rosailda. Present teacher. Victor. Present teacher. Claudia Guadalupe. Mario Emilio. Y nos vamos. What, what do you say, teacher? Mario, Mario, what? Mauricio, Mauricio what? Emilio. Ajá. <laughs> hey. I always change somebody's name. Okay. No, that's my, that's that's my turn. <laughs> yes. Good night. 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 God bless you. Thank you, you too. See you, see you. Hi, Felix. How are you? Hi. I'm fine. Excellent. Tell me, do you have any questions? No. No questions? Comments? No. No, it's okay for me. Comments about <laughs> today's topic? Mm. No, no comments, teacher. Okay. How are you doing with the platform? No problem with the platform? Um, I think with the last, I have problem. What happened? No. No, no he entendido muy bien qué es lo que hay que hacer con la última que estaba viendo. What, what exercise is that? Ahorita lo busco porque no sé bien qué lo es. Es en el de usar el nose con los enunciados que están ahí. Ah, el nose. Sí. Pero yo... Vamos a ver. Sí.
Sí, es la que está el 2.11. Ok. Yes, let me move to that. With the first one, no problem. No. Cuando es la segunda donde hay que completar la, las oraciones. I didn't run. Okay. Ah, that is about enough. What you have to do here is choose which is the best option to complete the sentence. Okay, the first one, the place strategy, demand and no. No, no sé, estaría bien así o como es. In what number are you? Two point, no, you're not in two. two point eleven. Ah, okay, okay. Two point eleven. The place strategy, complete the sentences using the information in parentheses. Mm -hmm. It's a strategy demands enough, cha no. enough channels of distribution could be. Place strategy demand enough. Channel of distribution. Sí, así lo, lo tengo, pero no me sale. Ok. Le puso demands. Ah, no, solo demand. Es con la S. Póngale la S. Our products offer. Demands and no channel channel of, of distribution. Y punto al final. Mm -hmm. Sí. Sí, la S era la que faltaba, pero. Ajá, ajá. The thing is that you get here like the base words to use, and you have to see if you need to add the S or not. Okay. Pues ya la demás la puedo hacer. Ajá. The others, you're, you're following the same structure, right? You use the word they give you, then enough, and then the rest of the, of the, of the option that they give you to. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Vamos a ver. If they let me, no, it doesn't let me submit yet. Because, but you already checked it, right? It doesn't let me submit because I have to complete the whole exercise to be able to submit. If no, no. Okay. <laughs> okay. Any other question, Felix? No. No? No. Okay. Well, perfect. See you tomorrow then. Okay, Have teacher. Nice, bye. Have a nice night. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye-bye. See you.